Hi, it's Rowan from SourcesOutSI.net again. Just going to show you a quick tutorial on how to change the transparency within Photoshop. Now this is quite important for cutouts. Um, as you can see, the standard background that you get in Photoshop is a grey and white checkered um, colour. Now, it's not too bad, but it won't show up some of the edges that you'll get um, when you use Extraction Tool and particularly um, the whites that you get which is, a, I mean, it's also known as snow. Um, now, to change this, simply go into Photoshop, Preferences, Transparency and Gamut, and just click on the colour boxes here. Set the first one up. I mean, I, I like to choose bright red. Um, it shows up both colours, both darks and lights, nicely. So, then make a note of this code. You can simply Control C on your keyboard. And then on the second one, Control V, and you get both boxes are the same, so you get a nice solid colour. And as you can see, there's not that cut's pretty good. It's not showing up any background um, left behind, uh, sort of debris from the cut. So that's good. Um, that's pretty much it, really. Um, the other thing that you can do is to download uh, so something called a Photoshop Action, which uh, Geordie 1981 created here in the Learn to Make Your Own Cutout page. You can download that, um, install it into Photoshop, um, and then, as you can see, you can op open that in your Actions window. And it's simply a case of changing between different colours. This is really useful for having a look to see what your cutout will look like on, on the various different skins that people ha have had. And as you can see, um, it's pretty good on all colours, so, um, so, so that's it. Um, be sure to tune into some of the other tutorial videos that we'll be creating here at sortedoutsi.net.